Love and hate can never be friends. Oh, love, love. I heard you say to me that you wanna be my number one. Now, when you get to the chorus, before. subscribers who are going Zion here coming at you again with another tutorial now I want to talk to you guys about the early stages you know of reggae music you know I want to take it back to basics and I want to use the acoustic guitar to do this one so this one is actually very simple this one is for the beginners and also for all those who have jumped you know jump the gun you know skip the basic and jump to you know too far <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna take you guys to the very first, you know, to the, the, the beginning. We're talking about some easy cards. We're talking about like the one four or the one five, or the one four five, um, and the uh, one two card progressions. All right, you can find these card progressions in a lot of you know the early reggae songs. All right, so I want to teach you guys how to play that on acoustic guitar. You know, you can jam at your you know campfire. Well, Jamaicans don't really do that stuff, but you know, wherever you can impress some people, you know, especially for all those people who are retired and you know, have a guitar that is growing some dust on it, and they remember some songs that really used to put them in a certain mood back in the days, you know, you know. So, remember, the old music is to me, they are the best. All right, so let's get back to that. Grab the guitars, let's go. Okay, so now that we zoomed in, um, so yeah, we're gonna do the one, two card progression. So this is, you know, let's put it this way. These are some of the very first card progressions, you know, as beginners, you guys should be learning, you know. This is like the stepping stone. This is where you actually get learn how to strum your cards and, you know, not too complicated and all. So yeah, I also want to say that if this is your very first time tuning into my channel, go ahead and hit that red button right down there. Hit the notification bell hit on whenever i post a new video because you did this you will not miss it you will be the first to know so now yeah man so let's get to that so we're talking about the one two card progression you can find this card progression in a lot of songs a lot of early reggae songs you know what i mean songs like some of the dennis brown songs art and ellis and you know probably a few freddie mcgregor and um such so, and so on so we're gonna be working with the key of G so we're in the key of G and now we're only gonna be using the one and the two now remember in order to know what the one and the two is you need to understand the number system right so the number system is your do re mi fa so la ti do <laughs> you know and you just want to, you just want to substitute that with numbers instead of saying do so instead of saying do re mi fa so la ti do which is still the one so it's really seven notes right you wanna say one two three four five six seven back to eight eight which is the one so I hope my guitar is not too loud. So, and just so you guys can know, I'm using my Fender Mustang one amp right now to do this tutorial. And um, I'm just, I just have a little bit of delay. That's it. Because remember, it's reggae. You don't want reggae to ring out too much. All right. But being that we're using an acoustic guitar, I want it to sound something. A little bit of sweetness there. All right. So yeah. So remember, the one is the major. Two 
is a minor, three minor, four major, five major, the six is a minor, seven which nobody really use unless you're playing jazz, minor seven flat five, some people just say minor, back to the one which is major, all right? Or if you want to say eight, which is major. All right, so one, two, minor, three, minor, four, major, five, major, six, minor, seven, minor, seven, flat, five. Back to the one, G. All right, if you do not understand this and you want to learn more, there is some information at the starting of the video. Check that out and link me up and we can talk business. You know, quite affordable. So yes, let's get to that now. Yeah. So now that we have established that, so now we know that we're going to go in the key of G and we're going to go one. I said one, two, right? So you're going to remember, like I said, one is a major. So you're going to play G major. So if you go one, two. So it'll be one, two, three, two, re, mi. So you're gonna be two, re. The two is a minor, like I said. And that's it for the chord progression. That's one, two, two, or two. As I said, you can find this in a lot of songs, and sometimes they just turn it around and play the two to the one. You know? Love and hate. Can never be friends. Oh, love, love. You know, or I heard you say to me that you wanna be my number one. Nightmares. The two to the one. Ah, 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 and many other songs. All right, but right now we're gonna be using um Dennis Brown. Have you ever? So let's just try working with that. So we're gonna be using one to the two. So not the two to the one this time. So one to the two. All right. Now if you do not know how to farm the G major, by the whole third fret with your pointer finger, place the middle finger on this the third string, fourth fret. Pinky finger, fourth string, fifth fret. Ring finger, fifth string, fifth fret. Now remember, you can choose if you want to use a pick or not. As for me, I do not like using pick. I like using just my fingers because when you, the pick kind of give it a little bit of, for me, it's, the edge is just too much. But let me just use it a little bit for you guys. So that's a major. To get the two, you want to bar the whole fifth fret now. Keep the same position. Now I want you to just lift the middle finger. So that's where you have your bar the whole fifth fret and you want to place the pinky finger on the fourth string. Seventh fret, you want to place the ring finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. And that's it. <laughs> All right, so now let me put this pick down. I don't want to use it. <laughs> so here we go. So, have you ever, my bad. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been in love before? Right, so that is just basically it. This should, for all those who really want to start playing reggae on your on acoustic guitar, you know, this should be one of the first, you know, one of the first chord progression progression you actually attack. Alongside, at times, I mean, you can do the one, four, or five, but let's do just a one tool. We're dealing with two cards only. All right. So now you can sweeten these cards up. 
especially when it gets when it gets to the chorus. But I'm going to save that for the next le lesson, for the next tutorial actually. So the tutorial after this one, you can just go ahead and check it out. I'm going to show you guys how to sweeten these cards and make them sound a bit more, you know, like music. Right, but it does. It's music. It's something to jam. You know. You know. So just to give you a taste of what's coming in the next tutorial. So it's so if you're gonna play when you get to the chorus, you actually want to change something a bit different. I probably wanna go to the higher register, you know. And I'm gonna give you guys an example. So let's say we're playing. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been in love? Now when you get to the chorus, before, before, my back into the verse. You know, so you get those little sweet stuff, you know. Before, before, and make it sound sweet. You can jam along, you can enjoy, you know, just jamming. So, again, this should be your very first for the beginners this should be your very first card progression for reggae all right the one to the two the one to the two and even for some of the advanced people some people who are just starting to play reggae you know but you, you have been playing other genres but you know for reggae let's get here because the strumming can be a bit challenging so instead of trying to learn a bunch of cards and concentrating on how to make it sound you know that staccato feel you want to just concentrate on the two so to get that strumming technique is just squeeze and release see that Sometimes I use my thumb here, at times I use like the tip of my fingernail. So if I wanted to sound really warm, if I wanted to be in between, then I play. But if I wanted to sound, wanted to have a lot of taps, you know. So I'm not knocking the pick, I just don't like using picks for acoustic guitar. Alright, so yeah, that is it. That's basically the whole tutorial. Join me in the next tutorial after this and I'll show you guys how to sweeten the cards. Then after that, I'll show you more. Alright? Yeah man, and that is your very first card progression on acoustic guitar when it comes to playing reggae. That should be the very first card progression you attack you know it allows you it allows you to slide to move around easily on the guitar especially for acoustic guitar all right so remember subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit all so whenever i post a video tutorial whatever i post you will be alerted remember to hit the thumbs up button and watch the video in full well if you hear that it means you're watch the video in full so thank you very much blessed love peace out my name is zion catch you in the next tutorial as we continue